They are the unlikely friends joining forces to create some beautiful festive art. Yeah, Tom Yeddle, who was born without arms, and Basil West, who was left paralysed after a car crash, are both members of the uh, Mouth and Foot Painting Artists Group. Uh, and they've created some incredible artwork, which we've got some in the studio. Welcome to both you, Tom Morning. and Bazza. Thank Hello. you for you joining right? us. Uh, first of all, how did you both get involved in the Mouth and Foot Artists Association? Let's start off with you, Tom. Well, I, I got involved because my auntie used to live next door to a mouth painter back in 1957. Yeah. And he'd lost his arms through an accident in the Second World War. And uh, his name was Peter Spencer and he was a mouth painter and he used to contact my parents when I was very small each year and send us a Christmas card and say, what's Tom doing? Yeah, encourage him to paint because this could be a career for him. And that's how I first knew about them. Isn't that incredible to get that level of inspiration from yeah. someone at that age uh, you've got commonality with? I, mean, I was reading my notes about him and his story sounds fascinating. It's an incredible story, you know, to go from being RAF and then he came out and wonder what, he had lost both arms, wonder what he was going to do. What, and did, what happened to him? He, he got hit by a, uh, an aeroplane. Propellers, the propellers took his arms off. Oh, my goodness. And, um, but he was very inspirational and uh, they had an exhibition, the Mouth and Foot Painting Artists in uh, 1965, when I was three, uh, here in London at, at Mansion House. And in his biography, it talks about little Tommy Yendall doing somersaults across mm -hmm. there. And then, you know, 60 years later, I'm sitting here as one of the mouth and foot painters, and it's been absolutely right. fantastic. Yeah. And do you use your mouth and feet? And which one do you prefer? Oh, I'm really clever. I use both. <laughs> <laughs> do you put, are you better at mouth or foot? Your mouth is much more precise, and the, the paintings that I've got here are all, all mouth paintings. Yeah. But I've started again uh, painting with my foot and using a credit card to paint with. And uh, that's been a real eye-opener for me. OK. And, yeah. and also, Baza, you yep. came in contact with Tom... With Tom, like ten yeah, years over ago? ten years ago, yeah. And uh, I was painting by mouth then, and somebody said, have you heard of the mouth and foot painting artist? And I said at the time, no. And so I looked up at what they do, and Tom said, send some paintings in to us and, uh, and see what we can do. And then he emailed me back and said, uh, can I come down and have a meeting with you? And uh, he said, if you're doing this in the last few months, imagine what you can be doing in the mm. next few years. Basta, tell us a little bit about your story. You had an accident. I had a car accident, yeah. When I was 19, I swerved to miss an animal in the road and broke my neck in two places. So I've been paralysed with just the use of my head and shoulders since the age of 19. Yeah. And little did I know that I was going to be able to be creating the mouth paintings that I do now. Yes, yeah, I never thought it was possible, and it's, um, it, it's thanks to the mouth and foot painting artists that I'm able to do that. What was your first perception of painting? Were you into painting before you? No, at all, at never all? did I think I'd be sitting down painting a flower or anything. Yeah. I really didn't think that was for me, you know? Yeah, it was, it's just the more I've done it, the more I've wanted to improve, the more I've wanted to be better and improve in myself and focus on my ability yeah. and not my disability, Absolutely. as people call it. And how does and, your technique evolve? I mean, you... um, Yeah, very, very different. As I use different types of paints, I use acrylic, uh, I want to learn more oil, and these paintings here today are watercolour. So it's learning all that, and they're all slightly different. And also and the gift of your mouth, what you can do. All, all like done with your mouth, yeah. I and was watching your Instagram, actually, Bassa, and you was actually doing it with your son, and you got him painting that's with, right, his, yes, with, Harrison, with his mouth, yeah. which is just lovely. Yeah, trying does to teach him. Does he enjoy doing it? Yeah, he does, yeah. And he listens. It's not bad for a five-year-old, is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that picture there, yeah. Oh, that's great. And, I love uh, that. A lovely heartwarming yeah. shot, isn't it? And our, our paintings that we do go on to our, our website, mfpa.uk, and that's where our art goes on to for the chance to be put onto greetings card, Christmas cards, jigsaw puzzles, books, wrapping paper, mm. gift tags, and this is a, a massive time of the year for us Absolutely. as artists. I was going to say, you were just telling us during the break, 
this isn't a charity. This is an organisation that's yeah, run commercially absolutely. to make you guys... Yeah, least. since 1957. Yeah. I mean, our founder was a German artist and he really believed that just because you paint with your mouth or your foot shouldn't be that you have to rely on charity. You should be able to earn a living. Yeah. And I love that. Uh, the association, uh, our, rain, our main remit is to find every mouth and foot painting artist in the world and encourage them to become professional artists. So as you get better and better, you get more financial help and support. And it's really incredible. We're a big family of 800 artists in 80 countries and we're earning our living and that's really important, isn't yeah. it? But this time of year for us is incredibly important. I mean, our main, our main business is at Christmas, our Christmas cards around the world. And at the moment with you know, COVID and what's been going on, you know, sending a Christmas card is incredibly important. Yeah. And you this, know? this, one this is Tom's, just a picture yeah. of your Christmas card, Tom. That's yep. out at the moment. That's and it. is that kind of like the achievement? Everyone wants to get their Christmas card yeah, out there. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's like any business. You want to be the best and yeah. you want to have your stuff printed. And, and it's really difficult. You know, we've got 800 artists all vying to have that Christmas card at Christmas so that we can sell it out. Yeah. And so having one, you know, every couple of years is a real, is a real proud moment. Who you have chosen? <laughs> well, we have publishers. And they look through their... We, our, our artists send in about 9,000 paintings a year and they, they go through them and see which ones, you know, they think are commercial. And then the publishers ha have a choice of, of uh, six or eight cards that they right. put out to the public. And uh, more and more we're selling online, you know, mfpa.uk. Uh, UK. Um, and uh, it's growing. You know, that side of the business is growing. Yeah, good. But it's so important, you know, that connection with other people that you might not have seen all year, mm. you know, just to send that Christmas card and yeah. keep in contact. Yeah. It's really lovely. I know you did a Christmas card for us last year, which was absolutely brilliant. Would yeah, you do we'll another one set. for us this year, maybe? Of course, yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have it on our Christmas set, maybe, right. next week. That would be yeah, nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. You don't mind? Yeah. No, no. Thanks, oh. guys. I don't want to put you on the spot. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I did it last year. We yeah, should get Barry, Barry to do it this year. I've actually yeah. put it on my grams today. Oh, so oh thank you. it's on my grams on the store. Oh, yeah, and, and social media, of course, for us, is, yeah. is growing and growing. And it's the film is yeah, it's it? very inspirational. I mean, I, I was born with no arms, but I'm so inspired by our artists and the fact that, you know, someone like Barry, completely able-bodied and then retrains mm. as a, a, an artist is incredibly inspiring yeah. and so social media and you know youtube and and facebook and instagram have played massive part over the last couple of years just keeping our our artist in um connected yeah you know it's very lonely business sitting at home and painting when you're no, breaking your neck yeah. whereas yeah. if you can talk to artists in you know canada and brazil and china it's a real community. Yeah. And do you know what? You've probably inspired so many other people as well. So thank I, you so much. I hope so. I think we all have a talent, you know, and we don't normally find it until we retire. Yeah. You know, you go to your art class in the village hall and people then think, God, why haven't I done this for years? Mm. Yeah. You know? Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Beth. And I thank think it's if, if people go to the Mouth and Foot Painting Artist website and look on there and type in MFPA... UK yeah. and be inspired to see what we've been created with the limited movement we've got yeah. and hopefully something we've gone through or learned to live with will inspire some of Definitely. your viewers and hopefully to believe and achieve you know yeah. oh, Thanks, thank guys. you guys so thank amazing. you very much thanks for having me thank, thank you very much